Hello, you are welcome in online series of machine design. Myself, I am Shabu Swami. So, in this lecture, we will see about how to do design of wire ropes. Okay. So, this is our main uh, discussion. Into this will be our main discussion in today's lecture. Okay. So, first of all, wire ropes are designed on basis of breaking strength. Okay. So, first of all, what is breaking strength? So, breaking strength. Okay. So, generally breaking strength. So, breaking strength is denoted by Fu. Okay. So, what is Fu? Fu is your breaking strength and this breaking strength indicates that the, the wire can take maximum static load maximum static load that can taken by buyer without failure okay so this is known as your breaking strength okay now so what is fu okay so fu is denoted by ultimate tensile strength multiplied by area so ultimate tensile strength is also we know it is different for different types of material right and a is your area and F is your breaking strength or you can say that breaking force that can wire can be take without failure. Okay. So, F U is different for different types of material. For example, wire is made of fiber. So, it will be different for fiber. If it is made of steel, so it will be different for steel. So, it is totally depend on types of types of material, this type of material will be used for this type of, uh, for manufacturing of your wire. Next point is your uh, modes of failure. Okay. So, modes of failure. So, what are the modes of failure? Okay. So, modes of failure. So, basically, there are two types of modes of failures are basically here. First is your due to direct tensile load okay first one is your due to direct tensile load okay direct tensile load okay so it is denoted by f t okay so f t is here direct tensile load okay next second second failure may be obtained this was your first and second one is your due to bending okay this uh by which due to bending okay so here we know what is bending equation so how to find out bending force because you have to find if you uh, you are designing so first of all you have to find out bending force so how to find out bending force so here you have to apply bending equation so what is bending equation m by i is equal to sigma b by y Okay, this is equal to E by R. So, first of all, what is E, R and all parameters? Okay, so here, here E is your, what is E? E is your modulus of elasticity. Okay, E is your modulus of elasticity which is different for different material and it is given by Newton per mm square. R is your, what is R? R is your radius of curvature. Okay. R is your radius of curvature and this is equal to d by 2. Okay. Next is your, okay, E R. Done. Now, what is Y? Y is distance from center axis to your extreme point. Okay. For example, this is your Y. So, here center to extreme point, this is known as your Y. So, y is given by dw divided by 2. So, what is dw? dw is here diameter of your wire. Okay. Diameter of your wire. So, y is given by dw by 2. Now, now we can find out, uh, we have already seen that m by i is equal to sigma v by y is equal to, uh, what was that? This is equal to E by R. So, this is your bending equation. So, by using this relation, we can find out your sigma B. Okay. So, sigma B is given by, sigma B is equal to, what is sigma B? 
so sigma v is equal to here you can find out uh, sigma v uh, sigma v so sigma v is equal to e into r divided uh, sorry e into uh, okay e into y okay and divided by r so this is equation given by you sigma v when we will put value of y and r in this equation so you will get so you will get here sigma v is equal to e into dw because you can see here y is equal to dw by 2 okay and what is r r is your d by 2 so you will get sigma v is equal to e into dw divided by d okay so this is your bending stress so now how to find out bending force okay so bending strength or bending force so fv is equal to sigma v into area we know what is the relation between force and stress so force is equal to uh, stress multiplied by your area right so you can find out by using this re relation here a is your total cross sectional area what is a a is here total cross sectional area which is given in mm square okay so it was the second case of your failure third one is your third one is your how to find out your static strength okay we have find uh, we have seen that modes of failure was direct due to direct tensile loading and due to bending stress right so we have find out different types of forces now you have to find out what is actually static strength of your wire loop right so here you can see static strength okay of static strength of wire loop so how to find out this we have seen that breaking strength was given by sigma u okay and bending uh, stress is given by sigma v okay so here what is your static strength in force so static strength in force will be given by fu minus fb okay so this is known as your static strength of wire rope clear okay so this is given by static strength of your wire rope next is your so how to find out wire rope safety against failure okay so how to find out so now we have to consider factor of safety in this case right so to avoid the failure of rope we should uh, this should this should be fulfilled whatever the direct tensile load should there fos okay or it is denoted by ns okay so ns is here factor of safety factor of safety for factor of safety for static loading okay so it is given this should be equal to your static strength of material if this equation will be fulfilled then your design is safe okay so by using this relation you can find out ns so what is ns ns is equal to what is this fu minus fv divided by ft means what was the static strength of material divided by direct tensile load so it is known as your factor of safety for uh, uh, for static loading okay so now what is the safety condition so whatever the ns value you will obtain that should be greater than to the required factor of safety for example required factor of safety is equal to 2 so ns should be greater than okay ns should be greater than 2 it should be 2.5 2.3 whatever but ns is always greater than of your required factor of safety then and then you can say that your design is safe okay so next is uh, so it was the design against static strength or design against failure okay next is your design of wire ropes against fatigue failure okay design of wire ropes against fatigue failure 
okay fatigue failure so how to design wire ropes again fatigue failure we know when some wire uh, you can see here this is your uh, for example this is your drum okay here we have attached some wire like this wire is bounded around rope drum okay so this will be the condition okay this diagram you will obtain okay so this is diameter the okay we have already seen that okay and diameter of wire ropes will be d w clear so this is your drum okay so when wire will be mounted on drum so here some pressure will be applied around this all over so this pressure is known as your bearing pressure okay so and here some forces will be act like this okay so these are the forces will be act and bearing pressure will be generated okay so how to know how to fatigue failure due to so first of all failure may be due to your bearing pressure okay so first case is failure due to bearing pressure okay now so what is your bearing pressure bearing pressure is equal to force two times of force d into d this is your bearing pressure this is standard equation okay this is your standard equation so bearing pressure is given by 2f divided by d into d right so here you can find out what will be the force force is equal to okay force is equal to why i have taking this area this is actually your projected area projected area means whatever your diameter is here right d and d small d okay so this is actually uh, we have taken is small d right so d is equal to diameter of y okay so this is equal to d into d which is actually your projected area right so by using this relation you can find out fb is equal to tb into d into d divided by f so by using this relation you can find out a uh, force or you can say that force due to uh, bearing pressure okay so here f what is here f pv we know pv is equal to bearing pressure which is given in newton per mm square d is equal to diameter of sheep or di diameter of rope drum okay diameter of drum or sheep okay drum or sheep next is your f so what is f f is your tensile load on rope this is your tensile load on rope it is given by newton per mm square okay and sorry it will be given by newton force is always in newton okay when we will consider the stresses so it will be given by newton per mm square right and d is your d is here nominal diameter of wire rope okay wire rope nominal diameter of your wire rope so these are the main points next is your next is your so a uh, bearing pressure we have seen that okay now if we will consider that pva so what is pva pv is your bearing pressure right this is your permissible which condition this is your permissible bearing pressure okay this type of pressure this will your permissible bearing pressure and here ff is your fatigue strength okay fatigue strength ff is your fatigue strength and pva is equal to your permissible bearing pressure clear so now so how to find out ff so ff is equal to we have already seen that pva multiplied by d into d divided by 2 okay here we have just replaced the value original equation was 
एफ इज इक्वल टू पी वी इन टू डी इन टू डी डिवाइडेड बाई टू ओके सो हेयर वी हैव रिप्लेस दिस बाई परमिशिबल फटी सॉरी दिस इज द फटिक स्ट्रेंथ एंड दिस इज योर परमिशिबल वेयरिंग प्रेशर विच एक्चुअली परमिटेड इन ड्यूरिंग द डिजाइन ऑफ योर वायर रोड राइट एंड ऑल पैरामीटर्स आर रिमेन सेम सो आई यूजिंग दिस रिलेशन यू कैन फाइंड आउट एफ ओके नाउ हाउ टू फाइंड आउट नेक्स्ट इज हाउ टू फर्स्ट पॉइंट वॉज द डिजाइन ऑफ बियरिंग अगेंस्ट बियरिंग प्रेशर सेकेंड इज हाउ टू फाइंड आउट सेफ्टी अगेंस्ट फटीक फेलियर ओके सेफ्टी अगेंस्ट फटीक फेलियर सो हाउ वी विल सी दैट दिस इज कंडीशन वॉट एवर वैल्यू वी हैव फाइंड आउट ऑल आर ओके ओके सो टू एवॉइड फटीक फेलियर ओके टू एवॉइड दिस कंडीशन to avoid fatigue failure to avoid fatigue failure we have to check what uh, direct tensile load multiplied by nf okay so what is nf nf is here uh, your factor of safety for fatigue condition so this should be equal to your what is this it was the fatigue strength okay we have seen already static loading static strength should be equal to ft into ns okay so same fundamental we have applied here so nf is equal to ff divided by f into t okay so nf should be greater than of factor of safety required again this value should be greater than okay of required factor of safety for example if we required factor of safety 5 so factor of safety uh, nf or factor of safety for fatigue should be greater than of 5 value okay so it was the all about your design of wire ropes okay thank you